for halogens like fluorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine, you have halo in general like chlorine and these are this is prefix you have prefix over here this is chloro this is bromo this is iodo and this is fluoro for alcohols we have the suffix all for aldehydes we have the suffix al for ketones we have the suffix own and for acid we have the suffix oic acid now how we can, we should use these suffixes so you had this compound suppose you are naming this compound you have already named it pentane since it has five carbon atoms now it has this OH group attached to it so what you do is that drop the E of the name so pentane will become pentan and then add the suffix appropriate suffix so this is OH so the suffix for OH is all so the name becomes pentan all so this compound is called pentanol now we if we have suppose this compound so count the number of suppose we have this compound so first what you do count the number of carbon atoms which is 4 in this case write butane then we have a CHO group so CHO the suffix is al so delete this e make it butan and then add this al so this is butanal remember that while counting the number of carbons count all the number of carbons don't leave out this carbon just because it is in the functional group when you're counting even if there is another CHO group somewhere you have to count the total number of carbons not you, you should not leave out this functional group uh, let us do some more examples over here so suppose we have this I'm not drawing the hydrogens this so count the number of carbon atoms 3 the name for 3 is propane but it has this functional group attached delete this E make it prop an and then add the prefix or suffix of this functional group so chlorine has a prefix so in prefix we don't actually have to delete this e so it remains propane but there is a preceding chloro 
So this compound is chloropropane. So in case of prefix, we do not have to delete this E. We just have to add the prefix to the name, to the name propane, butane, etc. Similarly, if it was Br, if this was Br, then this would have remained propane, but it would have become bromo. You know, now this homologous series which we were talking about, let's try to name all the compounds of the homologous series. Suppose it was CH3Cl. This is one carbon, so methane, no suffix because it's chlorine, so it's prefix, no need to delete this E, just add a chloro. Similarly, C2H5Cl will become chloro, ethane, since it has two carbons, and similarly, it would be chloropropane, chlorobutane, chloropentane, chlorohexane, etc. Oh, instead of the Cl, if it was OH, then what would it have become? Try it out. Okay. So, one carbon, so methane, OH is the functional group, so it has a suffix. If there is a suffix, you need to delete this E, delete this E and add the suffix which is all, so methanol. Similarly, this would be ethanol, propanol, butanol, pentanol, etc. Now, 